Hello, marhaba. Today we're gonna make hummus together. Today I'm gonna show you few secrets that you need to know if you wanna make hummus at home. Few secrets that it will help you a lot if you will decide to make your own hummus. You don't wanna buy any more hummus from outside or you want to make hummus from scratch. Because today I'm gonna show you how from scratch. I'm not gonna use the, the can, the chickpeas can. I'm gonna use chickpeas, dry one, and I'm gonna go step by step how we'll get hummus. So, to get the best result, stay with me and we're gonna watch it together and you will see. So we start with the first things. As, uh, we have the chickpeas. That's is our chickpeas. And uh, of course, surprisingly, it's gonna be uh, it's growing more and it's getting uh, much more than this one. So we'll put it in the pan. Like, we need to get it over now. And just pan. And then we need to add the uh, bicarbonate sodium, the baking soda, and to leave it overnight. So just make sure we put it in the water. In the clean water overnight for minimum nine hours and uh, yeah that's all what you need right now in the next day I just you can see it how stark like it's getting bigger and just I change the water just you make you need to make sure you change the water and you wash it from the the baking soda and just to become clean you need to pour it in clean water so now I'm gonna boil it for one and a half hours to like less than two hours. But just first I count it where it start to boil. After I start to boil, I'm gonna uh, count one and a half hours. So now you can see it's cooked and you need to make sure like it's easy to mash. So that's where you leave it. But after that, you pass it, you clean it with cold water, and then you put it on the, on the fridge for like one hour or something just to get cold because the machine it have to be cold when you, you start to make the, the hummus. So it's good to be cold. And that's, that's actually one of the secret. Uh, you need to know like hummus, to make hummus is always coming with, it has to be cold. Then it will stay longer, it will become like much white and uh, be like much uh, fine uh, will look more smooth and like yeah so make sure just to uh, put it in the fridge before using it and before to put it in a blender so after i get the the hummus it's cold so now i get the machine i get all the ingredients i have my machine my food processor and then I put the, the hummus here and then I will uh, just at first actually you need to make sure you start the machine without anything as much as you can without putting any liquid so it have to uh, it have to get smashed before you put any extra thing maybe salt it's fine but not not any other liquid not lemon juice not tahini nothing right now so i will start and then go a little bit from around just by spatula put it down and then start again So, what I need to do, I need to put salt and instead of putting water, I can put directly ice or you need to make sure you put cold water, but you need to be careful how much water you put. So I put just now three, uh, three cubes of ice. The rest of the ice, I'm gonna like, put here in the lemon juice, just also to make the lemon juice, any liquid, it have to be cold. So I 
again quick just take the old chickpeas from the corner just to go all together now you can see it's it's getting like it's become hummus actually without adding anything this is very important actually to start with so this is one of the secrets some people they put all the stuff directly and then uh, all the ingredient and then match it and of course it looks like hummus but this is the real secret this is if you want to do it in this way this is how you should do it so always I got I took my uh, tahini and I try to mix it as much as I can because you know in the beginning like when you get the the jar always something in the uh, down on the jar it's like it's not still hard and there's in top it's very oily so make sure you mix it as much as you can before you start to put and for the hummus as the heavy one you put better than the liquid so you will take the big part first big clump down and you will and then so first salt ice and then you will you will get the tahini and start again also now it's very important things to know it have to be cold right now I can feel it it's still cold so the if you have a blender or you have your uh, food processor if it has like three speed you put it in the middle one if you have like two speed you put it in the first one so never put it in the high speed so hummus need of course you need to blend it but you need to make sure you blend it and you don't make it hot when you make it hot next day in the fridge is gonna go bad so just this is for you to know as well so now I'm gonna put the rest of the tahini yes just make sure I mean as people they like it like with more extra tahini and you need to, f to make sure you feel you put the right amount and uh, to taste the chickpeas and the tahini it's not only the tahini uh, tahini dip because this is not this is hummus it's, this is t totally different from like just tahini sauce so here I put the second part of the tahini so you put the tahini in two parts once to go uh, like white cream more creamy and now to get the right one and I'm gonna add it here when I start I'm gonna start to add some lemon juice and that's where it's gonna get uh, become more white and more soft that's the thing and now I'll start to add the lemon juice slowly slowly and then you will see how it start to get more white and more smooth and then i'll start to add the uh, vegetarian oil the vegetable oil put it slowly slowly also the vegetable oil will help to uh, if you want to plate it and also will give a very nice taste so right now i'm just gonna check it oh now now what i want actually this is exactly what we want and to have uh, hummus make at home it's like actually it's nothing than <laughs> nothing better than just you have your own hummus at home so thank you so much for watching the video i'm happy that i can share with you my recipe my hummus this is very nice it's international dish like it's everywhere um, they like hummus and now this is the way how we do it here i show you the way how we do it in a small amount it's like of course you can do it at home yourself and uh, anytime you want any extra things any special uh, recipe or special dish 
please share it in the comment and I, I'm happy to do and uh, I hope you like the video press like if you like it and don't forget to subscribe if you are new in this channel so see you again goodbye